Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Genesis chapter 32, verses 22 through 32. Uh, verses 22 through 32 are the verses assigned for the day, and it's a little bit long, and so I will let you read the whole of it on your own. But I did want to read a section of it to help set the scene. So Genesis 32, verses 24 through 26 says this. It says, This left Jacob all alone in the camp. And a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. When the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. And then the man said, let me go for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. See, most theologians interpret this man that Jacob was wrestling with to be God. So this is a great story about when Jacob actually wrestled with God. It was God in the flesh, which means that this was pre-incarnate Jesus. Basically, that this was Jesus before he was born as a baby on earth from Mary. I want you to remember that Jesus and the other members of the Trinity, God the Father and God the Holy Spirit, are all eternal. That they have always existed. And the truth is that they have always existed, and they have always loved us, and they have always wanted the best for us. And so Jacob wrestles with God, and it changed his life. He had a physical reminder of it in his hip as he now walked with a limp. But even more important, his relationship with God was changing. You see, God changed his name from Jacob to Israel, from supplanter to one who wrestles with God. Or Israel could even be translated as one who chases after God. See, Jacob wouldn't let God go until he was blessed and his life was changed. His very core was changed, and so Jesus gave him a new name to signify his new identity. Jacob was a changed man due to this encounter with God, and when we have a real encounter with God, it's gonna change us as well. When we wrestle with God, it probably looks a little bit different than us wrestling with a stranger alone in the middle of camp at night. See, God calls us uh, to more than who we currently are, so our wrestling with God might be over our character. See, he calls us to be righteous, but we think, uh, God, I need to operate my business this way or it's not going to be profitable. Or if I told the truth, my friends and family wouldn't trust me or they'd know that I let them down. We might wrestle with God over being generous with, with our money. See, he calls us to be generous with our resources, but we might think, God, if I'm generous with my money, I might not have enough for me and my family. Maybe we might wrestle with God over forgiveness. See, God calls us to forgive others as we have been forgiven. But we might think, God, do you understand how much this person has hurt me or tried to tear me down? Or we might think that the things that someone has done or said are simply unforgivable. You see, for all of us, our wrestling with God might look a little bit different. But I challenge you to set aside some time today or this week to wrestle with God. Ask him to change you. Ask him to change the way that you see other people. Ask him to change the way that you see your situation. Ask him to change the way that you see him. Wrestle with God. Chase him with everything that you have and you will begin to see him move in your life in ways that you have never imagined. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video and we will see you tomorrow.